What up guys, it's Tyler Johnson over at Old TJP Films. Today we're talking about the Freefly Systems Wave Camera. This thing is an absolute beast of a high speed camera, 4K at 422 frames a second. Today I'm gonna to be talking about my tips and tricks. First, we're going to go through some of my favorite settings. Second, we'll be doing the Wave app, so getting everything imported and exported through the Wave app. And then finally, some editing and some color correction to make this stuff look extra nice. So I typically just leave the frame size alone. It's 4096 by 2176. From there, you get a little bit wider shot and you can actually have some wiggle room to slide it left and right. Sometimes I'll go down to 2K, but very rarely. I love the way the 4K looks and I just usually stick to that. 422 frames per second also is a ton of frames and you don't typically need more than that. A lot of times that works great. So there's a couple different tricks to get the exposure exactly how you want it. One of them is instead of adjusting your shutter angle, we can leave that at 180, but we can adjust the frames per second. Whenever that's a little bit too dark, you can actually step it down just a little bit, you know, shoot 380 frames a second or something in between. As you know, 180 degree shutter angle is what's preferred, but since this is global shutter, you can adjust it to your liking, get the right exposure, and you're actually gonna be able to have a really clean image still and not have to worry about some weird artifacting. Some of my favorite things is filling the entire frame with your subject, whether that be a long lens or a macro lens, or even a fisheye getting really close to the subject. Seeing those details is where the magic really happens. Now that we got some awesome clips on the Wave camera, let's go ahead and export these things with the Wave app. So down here you can see there's the different qualities of playback options. I usually play back everything in a quarter quality. And up here at the top right you can see open clip slash drive. You can open up the entire folder where your shots were and they'll all show up on the right. From what I understand you can actually get better quality results by coloring within the Wave application due to the fact that it can see all of the raw information from the clip. But for this example, we're going to actually just reset these sliders and color later in Premiere. Down here in the bottom corner, you can see the output format as well as the frames per second. For this, I'm going to be exporting in ProRes 422 at 30 frames per second. Let's go ahead and set some in and out points by clicking I for in and O for out. So now I can go ahead and hit Q if I want. It'll bring me back. It'll say that this clip is queued. I can go in, grab a couple other shots if I'd like, and then at the end, you can actually hit export and it will export all the clips at once that you have in the queue. I usually save the clip just one folder back so that it's underneath all the other shots. It'll run through the entire export and then you'll be able to use the clip now in Premiere. There's been a tremendous upgrade in quality since the camera's release and I would highly recommend keeping the camera and the Wave applications up to date for the best quality and best experience. So now that we're in Premiere, let's go ahead and throw a Lumetri color on. I love to first go into curves and make my shot nice and bright by dragging up the mids. From here I'll crush the blacks a little bit, add some contrast, and then go straight into basic correction to get our white balance proper. Right now it's feeling a little cold so I'm going to push it back into the warmth just a touch. See how that feels? Now I want to give it a little saturation and instead of using the saturation tool I'll actually go down here to hue versus saturation and pump up everything at once here. Looking at the overall image, it looks pretty good, although obviously there's some stuff that's way too saturated. And luckily, since you have all these options for keyframes over here, I can see, okay, orange, yellow, red, those are all a little too crazy looking. So I'm gonna come in here, add a couple keyframes, and pull those three colors back down just a little bit. So now the entire image is looking really nice and saturated, and those colors that are popping a little too much, I just pulled back down to be normal saturation. Another thing you can do, especially if you're looking at snow content, is come down here to the luma versus saturation and if I wanted I could make sure the whites are completely white by pulling down this tab on the end where the highlights are and making sure the whites are completely white. For this I'm going to leave the color in them because I still liked how it looks with a little bit of yellow. Also with the color wheels and match, sometimes the overall image might look amazing but the shadows are a little too warm or a little too cold. Come in here and adjust each one just enough to make the blacks black and the whites white. So let's go ahead and fix this horizon. Should have done it at the start. 
and get this thing nice and straight. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo! <laughs>